Welcome to Tuesday, Bethany and friends. Well, on Friday, we read Matthew's Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes and the rest, and it was a little longer. Today, I want to read the shorter Sermon of Jesus that's found in Luke's Gospel. It's called the Sermon on the Plain. Unlike Matthew's where he's on a mountain, he's on a level place here. And Luke is a little more, I think you could say, political than Matthew. Maybe it's a little closer to home. Let's listen. This is Luke chapter 6. We'll begin at the 17th verse. Jesus came down with them and stood on a level place. The great crowd of his disciples and the great multitude of people from all Judea, Jerusalem, and the coast of Tyre and Sidon they had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all in the crowd were trying to touch him, for power came out from him and he healed them all. Then he looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor. For yours is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you and revile you and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven. For that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. But I say to you that listen, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies. Do good and lend. Expect nothing in return. Your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put in your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. He also told them this parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully qualified will be like the teacher. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye and not the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, friend, let me take out the speck in your eye, when you yourself do not see the log in your own eye? You hypocrite. First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. No good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit. For each tree is known by its fruit. 
Figs are not gathered from thorns, nor grapes picked from the bramble bush. A good person out of the good treasure of the heart produces good. The evil person out of evil treasures produces evil. For it is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do, do not do what I tell you? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me. Here is my word and acts on them. The one is like a man building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When the flood rose and the river burst against the house, but could not shake it because it had been well built. But the one who hears and does not act is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, immediately it fell. And great was the ruin of that house. After Jesus had finished all of his sayings in the hearing of the people, he entered Capernaum. Well, this was a much shorter reading. It's about a third of the size of the Matthew. But I think it gets more to the heart. It's one that I often think about. It's about loving your neighbor as yourself. It's about doing what Jesus commanded. Both Matthew's Sermon on the Mount and Luke's Sermon on the Plain. It comes down to loving God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. And loving your neighbor as yourself. May the Holy Spirit inspire us to love, especially during these difficult times when hate seems to rule, when justice seems to not be around, when brokenness seems to be the only thing out there. We're called to be proclaimers of love, Doers of justice, ones who stand against evil, especially our own. May God guide you through this week. Amen. God bless.